I work with children. I um, am interested in understanding what makes kids potentially predisposed or protects them from developing mood problems or emotional problems. My job is really to do a combination of clinical work, research, and teaching. I'm interested in seeing how kids uh, regulate their emotions and how that regulation matures over the course of their development. The kids I research range from ages 8 to 18. Uh, we are interested in studying children younger and I do have younger patients in my clinic. We uh, have children sometimes as young at, as age 3 or 4 presenting with difficulties uh, regulating or working through their moods. So being sensitive to the fact that now we're understanding that many psychiatric conditions can start in child as early as child, childhood and adolescence, we're beginning to do a better job identifying those problems in children and adolescents and, and appropriately trying to find uh, careful, uh, comprehensive care for them. Where's the plethysmograph? One of the most somber uh, morbidities associated with a mood disorder, particularly if it's untreated, is suicide. Whether it's thinking about wanting to end life or actually attempting it. And that can be a very important and uh, reason to seek help and be in the position to do something about a particularly vulnerable mood state. Prevention is the uh, really the ultimate goal for most child psychiatrists. Uh, it's my goal personally to be able to prevent the onset of mental illness in children um, who might be uh, at particular risk. I, I watch my daughter cry and it, it brings tears to my eyes. I can't, I can't uh, tolerate almost uh, her, uh, her sadness or her tears or her frustration, whatever the cause is. My heart goes out to all the parents that I work with who, uh, who really struggle to, to find ways to help their children not suffer anymore. And so absolutely becoming a parent has changed my perspective on that completely. I think changing the world happens at multiple levels. Uh, and if I can make a positive contribution to a single child at any given level, whether it's my own child or uh, that of any of the patients that I see, then I'm happy. One of the principles that I grew up with was seva, which means service, doing service or community service for, uh, for people. And unabashedly, uh, without any, uh, any uh, hesitation, this is something um, that was very important to me. Um, that Michigan State very, very much cultivated in the way that it uh, educated me to be a very compassionate and service-oriented physician is that I could instill hope in my patients. And I think there was no better career uh, choice that it, um, would enable me to do that. I, can, I instill hope in my families every, every opportunity I get. And I think that that's pretty special. I'm very happy doing what I'm doing. Uh, I couldn't be happier. I love my job. I love my family. Um, I'm not sure I could strive for anything more <laughs> at this stage. I'm very content. If there is anything that is out there, um, I think it, it's more patient interactions, more research opportunities to develop more ideas. And hopefully, I think the one thing that's still out there is a definitive cure for mental illness for children. And I definitely feel that I want to dedicate the remainder of my career uh, chasing after that.